Hello and welcome everybody, this is your commentator Moods and I will be back here to another video. And we are here for a week 5 match against our friend Burnt here and th this one took a while to get because he was busy last week so we couldn't do it then and we had to push it back until now and we're just going to do it on sh on showdown just because he's ha he, he, that's just what he, what he wants to do for right now and just to get it done out and done quickly. So I don't mind. So yeah, we're here, and I think I have my, um, yeah, I have my, um, my, um, who's he, what's my, um, damage counts open. But let's go through the team real quick, and then we'll get into the battle. So first, we have our newest member of our team, Grablocked, which we dropped a double to pick up Grablocked. It's going to be actually pretty sick. It's got 32 HP, uh, 226 attack, and max bedeath. This uh, is set up so that it can live a hit from Duosion and double and be able to two hit KO it with Sucker Punch. We're running close combat, Ice Punch, Sucker Punch, and Octolock with the with the lem with Limber and, and Life Orb. Yeah. And then we're running and then we're bringing Garde Devoir with Choice Scarf so we can outspeed some of his faster mods so we can like his Flygon and his Crocodile so we can beat it with Moonblast. We also are running Mystical Fire, Energy Ball, and Magic. Magic Coat is the tech that we're running in case he brings Santaconda and leads with it for Stealth Rocks. That this is the lead against that against that. With with max special attack, max speed, and yeah, and then we either bringing our Mothra, Volcarona, Leftovers, Sub Quiver Dance, Flamethrower, Giga Drain. If we can get up a Quiver Dance, then we then we just one shot everything with his pseudo sand team with with uh, Giga Drain. It's insane. And then we beat his his um um steel types, which is Magnezone and Clefki with flamethrower. And then we're running Fun Guy, our Amoongus, if I can scroll down to it, if it lets me. There we go. Giga Drain Spore, Toxic, Stomping Tantrum with the Black Sludge Regenerator. You are thinking Stomping Tantrum, what's that for? But once I get into the Eevee spreads, I will tell you. We are running Max Attack, 140 Special Attack. 118 speed death and with with a with a sassy nature. The max attack is, is that stomping tantrum before the 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 boost of the double damage. It'll do at least half to colossal with this thing, and at most it'll do about 60 percent, which is nice. If it, if it comes down to that situation, that, and then and then uh, we won't take a lot of damage from like flamethrower and stuff, unless you, unless he's physical. Anyways, then we're, then we're bringing Mine, the Cramorant, Focus Ash, Surf, Ice Beam, D5, Roost, Just Your Standard Set, uh, so, so, and Ice Beam's there so we can um, take hits. We can we can get rid of his Brown type, Surf's there for his Rock types. And then finally, we're bringing the Nuke, our Galarian Slowbro, Shuckaberry, Regenerator, Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, Liquidation, Trick Room. Liquidation's there for mainly for Crook. And he's got 152 HP, max attack, and 104 defense with the relaxed nature, so that we can um, live. Second brace there, so we, we can take earthquake from Flygon and either or from Crook and be safe to stay in and take and hit it back. And then um, the EV spreads there is, is set up so that we can live a knockoff if. We have our uh, if we still have our berry, we can live, we can live a knockoff with at, at, with a minimum damage of probably like 64. To, I, I don't remember exactly the number there, but at most it'll do about like 80. So yeah, let's get. Wait, why isn't this? This should be minus speed, not. Yeah, this should be minus speed. Not careful. It should be minus. Should be sassy, right? make that quick change here really quick there we go yes all right now let's get into the battle as I send him the request here all right so we are here for in the, in the actual match that took a while to find so I, I, I probably cut that all out let's see I, I do want to lead Gardevoir against the Santa Conda so I can go for our magic coat play
is gonna. This is, I, I want to, but then if he leads anything like Magnazone or Klefki, then I'm gonna be just. Ugh. Or even Crook. I don't mind if he leads on Colossal, because I can, then I can just switch out into Cramorant. Or grab locked, either one. So yeah, let's do it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So we're gonna magic cut on a stealth rocks and we are good. Yeah, that works too. That works too. That works as well. We can even switch out into this because we have Limber now if he goes for it again. Let's do it. Limber! Yeah, buddy! Alright, now I'm going to Octolog whatever you switch into here. Let, and then we can just start dealing damage to it. I like this idea. Pretty good. Now he's stuck in here. And now we can just beat this thing with Ice Punch. And we got the freeze! And we got the freeze! How unfortunate! But it works out for us in the end. I like this. I don't mind the rocks because we do have Cramorant to, to get rid of them. So... Oh, I want to go right out. I, I, I need to keep this thing healthy so we can sucker punch this thing later. We're not running heavy duty boots on anything? I for, mm. No, because we do have uh, Cramorant with the Sash to get rid of that and then, and then go back up with the Roost later. So we're going to go into... Nuke? Yeah, Nuke. I think Nuke's the best the best option. It'll take the it'll take the psychic or shadow Ooh, Shadow Ball's not a good idea. Huh. reach a minimum speed of 58 while well, I reach a minimum speed of 50. It's a speed tie for mint speed. It is a speed tie for us being mint speed. Huh. Do I actually need this thing? Did it bring Flygon? Crook, this might be useful for Crook, for Colossal, but, uh, and is, but we have everything else, so I think I can let this thing go. And just fire off a, a, a big earthquake, or get off Trick Room, e even get off Trick Room if we want. But I can't do Trick Room here, because I need to, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna let this thing go. That's fine. Then we can, then we can force him to switch out on, on, on Mothra here, and we can sub. Quiver Dance here as well. Quiver Dance. And then how much does a Quiver Dance Giga Drain do to this thing? Uh, let's find out. Uh, Volcarona Quiver Dance with Giga Drain. Giga Drain. We're modest, right? Or are we timid? Let's. I don't remember. We gotta find out. Uh, team Builder. We are modest. Awesome. That's what I thought. We're modest. Not timid. We're modest. Plus one special attack to a colossal. Giga Drain only does... Really? Oh, that's why. He's running. If he's not running this or this... Then Giga Drain does 35 to 42. So... 
I think I do want to switch out here. Oops, I keep doing that. And I want to go into Squidward, right? I need this for everything else. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to grab a lot here. And then we're going to go Octolock, just so we can keep things locked in. A minus one sucker punch life word from this thing. How much would it do? To, to this devotion. So, grab lot. Uh, if we have 226 attack with sucker punch to devotion. No, I don't want that. If you're minus one defense, and I have a and, and I'm and I'm life orb. This thing almost kills. It's it's a 62.5 percent chance to kill. And if we're 30, 32, and 252, and you and you and you hit us with psychic. No, you hit us with psychic. It would kill. Oh, because we that special attack, not but death. Right. 252, and we are the sassy nature. It would still kill us, right? It would still kill us. So do we have to we have to take the risk here to kill this thing with sucker punch. Oh no! He oh he took Shadow Ball. He did Shadow Ball. He went for Shadow Ball. Okay. I'm still gonna sucker punch until you're dead. So, yeah, I'm still gonna sucker punch you until you die. Which is fine. And I'm gonna sucker punch this for damage just to get damage off. Now I think we go into go into Cramorant and, and defog off the uh, the uh, the rocks. Defog away these rocks, and then we can and then we can um, go back going to Mothra here, and then start firing off hits. But he might predict us to go for some go for a move because this might have steam engine. This might have steam engine or flash fire. So I kind of want to go into into fun guy and go for a spore. Okay, Sporing Magnezone is not bad either. Sporing Magnezone is not a bad idea. Because then we can fire off Stopping Tantrum on this thing. And, it, and we got the crit and it killed. Nice. All right. We can put Crook to sleep now too because we are... I think we can put this thing to sleep, right? Spore this thing? Hopefully. Because that's not going to kill us. And we let me spore it and then we can start going for Giga Drain. Yeah. And this is 
why we're running stopping tantrum just for this thing. And then and then we just win the game with Gardevoir after this. Yeah, so I don't mind this dying. So we can we can we can just win the game with Gardevoir here, going for Moonblast. Once this thing is dead, we can we we can do that. Cause now Giga Drain kills. So I don't mind this. Now we just win the game, so that's gonna be GG to our opponent. We're gonna win. A, we're gonna win 3-0. So yeah. So while this the rest of this game plays out, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this battle. This has been your commentator moods, and I will see you later this week for our week six battle. Peace, and good night, everybody.